During our last trip to Batangas, we spotted a very interesting creature who had been living in the area for months and was feared by human residents because of misconceptions. That creature was a Tokei gecko. They're one of the most famous species of geckos because they are actually commonly poached in the illegal wildlife trade and they are... Sorry. Because they are commonly poached in the illegal wildlife trade. Now, these geckos can be found in many parts of Southeast Asia. And the reason why they are poached so much is because people think that they can be used for traditional medicine. People think that they're an aphrodisiac. People think that they can cure various diseases. But all of these things don't even have any scientific backup. And you know, a lot of animals are facing things like this uh, in the illegal wildlife trade, just like tigers, snakes, rhinos, Pangolin. pangolins, Pangolin. all of those things are threatened by the illegal wildlife trade because of beliefs like this. So that's why for me it was just very... I'm thrilled to see a toke gecko because these guys are... They're, they're declining in numbers and we need to protect these species of gecko. Now I'm gonna show you guys a look at its body. These guys can grow really, really big. There have been toke geckos that have grown as big as 13 inches. That's just crazy. My favorite thing about the toke gecko is how beautiful the coloration is. Look at that. They are blue, bluish gray, and they have yellow spots on their body. And the reason why I'm holding it so carefully is because these guys can deliver a really strong and painful bite. I'm not gonna try that for you guys today. But don't worry, even if I'm doing my best to hold this. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Speaking of bite, our friend Levin just got bitten by the toy. <laughs> so these guys, when they bite, <laughs> These guys, when they bite, they are known to really latch on. If you've seen the video of Coyote Peterson taking a bite from this guy, you know that it's really not a good kind of experience. These guys are so big that they are known to be the second largest gecko species in the world, next to the new Caledonia giant gecko. Now, I want you to zoom in on its feet. Look at that. So if you see how the feet are formed, the reason why they're shaped like that is because this, um, this helps them to climb on to even the hardest kind of surfaces and grasp onto that really easily because these guys like to climb up walls, climb up poles, lampposts, because those are places where they often go hunting for insects. Insects that like to go close to light, of course, because these guys are insectivores, so they feed on insects. Uh, but yeah, look at how amazing these creatures were designed. And you can see that they are really well adapted to climb on to so many surfaces. And I'm also trying to be very careful because we don't want to stress this creature enough because like we've said with other lizards that we featured on our channel, they also have the tendency to do autotomy or when they drop their tail. So if it's too stressed, it might end up dropping its tail. So we're trying to be very careful because we can see that it dropped its tail probably once already. This is the regenerated part. And we don't want that to happen again because that usually happens when these guys are stressed out. So um, we're just handling this safely, um, carefully, and just good enough for both me and the toke gecko to be safe. So if you guys run into animals like this, know that they are threatened by the illegal wildlife trade and we should protect these guys. We shouldn't poach them as much as people have already been doing and we should just let these guys be free because they are very important for because they are very important for our environment because like I said they feed on pests, they feed on insects, bugs, things that can carry diseases. By the way, I forgot to mention the reason why they're called toke geckos is because they make a sound that sounds like toke <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's the sound that the toke gecko makes. So that's the sound the toke gecko makes. 
Another thing I want to mention about these guys is there are a lot of superstitions about them, especially here in the provinces. People tend to think that they are venomous or that their urine is venomous. So people get so scared of them and they kill these guys for no valid reason. But honestly, these guys are harmless. Other than giving a really nasty bite that they tend to latch onto, these guys are harmless. They are non-venomous and neither is their pee. There's no reason for you to kill them. In fact, they are more valuable alive than dead. So if you see them, just leave them alone and let them do their thing and fulfill their role in our ecosystem, okay? So we're gonna release this guy back to where he came from. <laughs> These guys are really known to be kind of feisty, but like I said, they are harmless. Aside from that bite they deliver.